Labas, my name is Mangardas, and today we'll try out the GitHub Copilot with some Dart and Flutter code. Nothing more to add here, so let's jump straight to the action. Today I got access to GitHub Copilot, currently it's on a technical preview. For those who don't know, GitHub Copilot is a tool, more like an extension for your favorite IDE, that introduces AI-powered auto-completion for your code. Only available for the Visual Studio code at the moment. The tool can recognize the context in the code, for instance, uh, comments or function headers, and provide useful auto-completion options. In the documentation, it is mentioned that the tool works especially well with Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, and Go, which is obvious, since these languages are very popular and we have a lot of examples out there. But I'm very curious how this tool would work with Dart and Flutter. Let's try that out. So we will test the code pilot in three different scenarios. The first one would be the pure Dart code, which is just a helper functions. The second one would be Flutter widgets, and the third one would be widget tests. For this, I have already created a fresh Flutter project, cleaned up the code a little bit, and added some files to the playground. Here is a simple helpers class that would contain the uh, pure Dart code. Then we have the copilot widgets file that contains two widgets, one of them is stateless, one of them is stateful, and we will try some things out with GitHub copilot later on there. And of course, I added a file for the um, widget tests. Let's start with the plain helper function. So the first one could be just to add two numbers. So we just create a function for that, which could be called add, then we add the first number to add, and you could see in gray that we have already a suggestion to add the second parameter there, so we just accept it. And then when we need to fill the function body, you could see already that there's a suggestion to return a plus b, which is basically what our function should do. So we accept this offer as well. Uh, the fun part is that now if we add another function, you could see that the full function header is suggested, and if you hover on that, you could have several options. You could either uh, go and like navigate through the suggestions using next and previous, or you can just open the copilot and see that all the available suggestions are there. So we just press on this, and you could notice that we can maybe add just a simple function to subtract two numbers. We can add that. Uh, let's format the code. Now, if we need to add another uh, function, you could see that multiplication is suggested. So we can just press tab on that. And when we need to fill the function body, we can. We already have a function to uh, accumulate the product of, of these two parameters. Okay, uh, let's try out some string manipulation. So let's create a function that, let's say, source a string. So we can create a function for that. The return time is string. Let's call that sort. And we pass the string itself as a parameter there. And you can notice there is a suggestion which is not what we really, really want to. And we can open the copilot window and check other uh, available suggestions out there. And actually, this, this last one is quite what we need out there, but we'll need just to adjust some code. Uh, so we'll first of all, fix some formatting errors. And the problem there is that in uh, the Dart code, the sort function is void, meaning we cannot really append the join at the end of that. So to resolve that, we can create a temporary uh, variable. So let's call that s. And uh, yeah, we can already use the split function. Then uh, we sort this list using the default sort function. And as a result, we can just uh, yeah, concatenate all the elements of the list and join them without having any gaps. And that's basically, we'll achieve the, the wanted result out there. As you could notice, we had some suggestions out there, but they didn't, did not really work out of the box as the first three functions. And it's okay, the GitHub Copilot is, is not perfect. We need to make some suggestions and uh, as well, we need to think of our code. So that's a good thing. At least we had some, some direction out there. We just need to fill, fill the gaps. Okay, uh, let's try out how well the GitHub Copilot understands the context of our code. So for that, we create a, another function, which is of string integer, and let's call that function uh, string to map. And as you could see, um, there's already a suggestion how to end this function, this function header. And to provide some context, what this function does, uh, basically it should split a string into symbols and create a map where the key is the symbol itself, the so symbol, and the value um, is the uh, symbol count. So this function should take a string, split it into the separate symbols, and then accumulate them and just return the count of those symbols uh, in the string. So uh, the first thing to do, we can create just a empty map for this. Um, so yeah. We, we had a suggestion to create a hash map, but in Dart, uh, we should go this way. And now we need to see some more suggestions. So of course we need a for loop and we just see what's the suggestions out there. And this one is quite what should work in our case, but noticing let and the length function seems like it's more of a 
TypeScript code or JavaScript code. Uh, so we can just adjust this a little bit to make it like Dart language compatible. So yeah, the, the function uh, should work now. Of course, instead of final, we should uh, make it war. And, and yeah, what we need to do, we need to check if a map contains a symbol already. And, you know, just doing the plus one if there is already uh, the same symbol in the map. If not, then we need to create another entry in the map and assign a one to that. And actually, we already have suggestions for that. So let's check them out. And as you may see, we have some suggestions of doing a pretty similar idea of we want to achieve, so we can just accept this solution there. Again, uh, fixing some formatting errors, but uh, it has own property is not really the function which exists on Dart maps. So we need to um, adjust this a little bit and maybe use the contains key. Yeah, contains key of the string at at index. And if that's right, we should uh, yes, adjust this a little bit, and we should uh, maybe just make it simple. Yeah, just assigning the, the plus one value uh, to the same key. If not, then we add a new um, yeah a new character to the map and just assign one to this. And as a result, we should return map. Uh, and yeah, and that's suggested for us. So basically, the whole code was suggested by GitHub Copilot, but as, as you may notice, we have more examples out there on the internet for the TypeScript, for JavaScript, for Python. So probably you'll need to adjust this code a little bit and yeah, adapt it to Dart code, but the whole logic and how this function should work, it was already implemented. Cool, uh, let's try out some Flutter code now, and let's say we need to get something from the media query, like screen height, right? So we type the screen height equal and we see no suggestions just double check the copilot window if we have any and actually no we do not have anything related to the media query so let's just type this uh, uh this code by ourselves uh, off context size height uh, but now is the fun part let's say we need to get the screen width and now let's type the same thing of screen width equal sign and see, now we got a suggestion from the GitHub Copilot that we can extract this uh, property from the same media query, which wasn't really suggested uh, previously. And um, this actually shows how well the GitHub Copilot uh, analyzes the context of our code. And now we, we got a suggestion which we previously didn't have. Okay, now let's try some simple suggestions. Let's say we want uh, to return, um, yeah, text widgets with text inside this hello copilot why not so that should suggest us some options but these are material text maybe there are some suggestions for a simple text widget let's check that out no not really so maybe by just creating text widget and now uh, just adding the text you could see that at least now we got a suggestion to fulfill this text with hello copilot what we added in, in the comments there. Okay, uh, let's try another one. And for this, let's, um, let's create a widget that returns a center widget uh, with letter logo, why not? And yeah, already we have a suggestion of the center widget. So let's open the copilot window. I hope the flutter logo would be centered this way. Uh, I mean, definitely will. Um, let's check other suggestions. We have several of those. And down there, we have some material app bar, which is not really what we want there. And we have scale center with another center and a lot of to-dos. Yeah, and actually not, not what we need there. So we just wanted just a simple center widget with a single child, which is flutter logo, right? And that's basically it, but seems like, yeah, this suggestion was not available there uh, as an example in the internet. Okay, let's check if the GitHub Copilot could help us build a layout uh, in Flutter. Uh, so just add a comment, returns a column widget with three empty rows as children. And yeah, we have already a suggestion for a column, so let's refresh the copilot view and see if we have some decent suggestions out there. 
Um, yeah, it mm, does not seem that's something we can use straight away. Let's just manually type the return column, um, create a children array, and there we have a suggestion for the row. Yeah, this way obviously we can fill all the rows there, but you know, we could do the same without using the GitHub Copilot, so it's it's nothing magical out there. Um, yeah, you could see we have different versions of rows out there, but we didn't get the really straightforward solution just to simply create a layout. Yeah, you definitely could notice that the GitHub Copilot definitely misses some functionality for Flutter widgets, but having in mind that Flutter is quite fresh and maybe there are not that many examples out in the internet, meaning there were less data for the AI of the Copilot to be trained for the specific Flutter example, so I guess that's something to accept out there, and later on we'll see. I expect it would be improved and we could use the GitHub Copilot to build our layouts there in Flutter. Uh, the last thing I want to test with GitHub Copilot is how it uh, behaves with widget tests. So let's add a test. And the first thing we need to do there is to pump the widget, of course. So let's add a comment for that and just check the suggestions. Maybe we'll have some useful ones. Uh, seems like no. So we need to do it by ourselves. So tester, uh, pump widget, and we need to use the copilot widget. And yeah. And as the name suggests, we should check whether the widget contains a text and we have a comment suggestion for that. So that looks promising. Maybe we'll get some suggestions for the assertion code, but it seems like no. So we should add it by ourselves. So yeah, expect and maybe now some suggestions again. The answer is no. So yeah, so we need to find for text, which is any text, right? And then just, let's say, finds one widget. Again, we didn't get any useful suggestions, but now we can just double check whether uh, GitHub Copilot investigates the context of the file. So should check for no text. Uh, let's say we need to test something, something similar that we had previously, but now when we need to pump the widget, we already had a suggestion how to fulfill this. But there, let's use another widget. We had a stateful uh, Copilot widget. And now for the session code, yeah, check for check for no text and now just uh, maybe a little bit extend this comment and let's say we want to uh, expect finds nothing for text hello world why not and now let's check the suggestion for text and actually we had a quite a nice suggestion we have the full assertion statement out there and and yeah again the github copilot maybe does not know uh, the context that well at, in the beginning but later on we can really improve our uh, yeah our velocity by fulfilling uh, some code by using their suggestions so that that's quite nice as you could see the github copilot is not perfect by any means and maybe it should not be having in mind that this tool is only in a technical preview and that dart and flutter is quite a new thing out there comparing to javascript typescript or python I'm not surprised that there are a limited amount of suggestions or examples in the Copilot view. Anyway, I think it's a quite, quite a nice step forward. Uh, maybe AI would steal our jobs one day, but it won't happen anytime soon, so don't worry. Yep, change the location a little bit, trying to get away from the sun, and for the ending, I have a terrible joke for you. So, what do we call an AI tool that autocompletes code written by children? It's GitHub Co-Copilot. I told you, that's, that's a terrible joke. Anyway. Thanks for watching, save trees, stay solid, and see you next time.